Chance to test your luck could be headed right outside of Hampton Road tonight. Officials met to talk gambling. And on the schedule, the revival of a racetrack and possibly Virginia's first casino. The Pamunkey Indian Tribe made a pitch for a casino along I-64 near Quinton in New Kent County. The discussion also hit on the purchase and reopening of the Colonial Downs racetrack. Ten of your sides, Brett Hall is in New Kent County to see what this could mean for our community. Hundreds lined up early at New Kent High School this evening to hear exactly what their luck will be. When it comes to Colonial Downs, a racetrack that has sat vacant for four years. The news really seemed to please the crowd. How soon can you start? The facility could reopen sometime next year. New owners say expect at least 12 days of thoroughbred horse racing a season and also historic race betting, meaning machines would be in on site that would allow a person to bet on races that have already happened elsewhere. Norfolk based interior designer within is currently helping remodel the facility. This is a huge win for New Kent County. However, what brought most to this town hall tonight was learning more about the possibility of what could be Virginia's first casino. In several other publications, the Pamunkey Native American tribe has expressed interest in building a $700 million casino with slots and table games, possibly in New Kent County. Lawyers hired by the Board of Supervisors detailed that for an Indian casino even to be considered in the Commonwealth, the tribe would have to get land handed over to them by the federal government. It's a process that, to their knowledge, hasn't started, and once it does, it could take years. The House never loses. However, that didn't stop many from standing up to voice their displeasure on that. The social impact on that community is not going to be positive. The chairman of the Board of Supervisors here in New Kent says that nobody on his board has heard from the Pamunkey tribe about a proposal at all. He says they are looking forward, however, to hearing from all those who have comments or concerns about the issue. They will be taking them and discussing them well into June. Reporting in New Kent, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.